Okay, so we're going to take the square root of this fraction. And we don't have any coefficients here, just exponents. We can rewrite this fraction as the quotient of two square roots. This is an equivalent form. And so this now looks like what we have when we're given a problem where we have to rationalize the denominator. Since this is the square root here that we have acting on y cubed, we can multiply by another one of these. And if we do this on the denominator, we're doing it on the numerator so that we have equivalent fractions. So these two things multiplied together will give us y cubed. And then I can bring these together under the square root sign. So I have this fraction. Now there is a simplification that I can do in the numerator here. I can factor this x to the fourth and I can factor this y to the third. The x to the fourth I'm going to rewrite a little bit so that it illustrates the fact that this is really x squared squared. And so this square root will act as an inverse on that. And I'm going to rewrite the y as y squared times y. If we multiply these together, we will get y cubed back. And so that is a valid factorization. Our denominator is the same at this point. And so this x squared squared uh, will be kicked out because the square root is acting as an inverse on this. So it's going to give me x squared on the outside. The y is going to get kicked out as the square root acts on the square. And since this is y to the first power, it's going to have to stay inside because it doesn't have a square to have the square root act on. And I have y cubed in the denominator. This y and y cubed will reduce in this fraction. y divides into y one time, so we have the product in the numerator as x squared times 1 times square root of y, and y divides into this, leaving x squared in the denominator. So we have a fraction that is reduced. It has a rational denominator. And so we are done with this problem. This fraction is equal to the fraction that we started with here.